You have to know your characters. You have to know what their arc is. You have to know what motivates them. You have to know their weaknesses. And this is, I'm gonna start becoming a bit subjective when talking about characters. Um, I'm not speaking for all composers when I say all of the stuff I'm about to say, but I think what I try to do is I try to understand the character and I try to completely relate with the character. Understand why they feel the way they feel, why they want to do what they want to do, and become them in a way. Because, you know, every character that's ever been written, well, most characters that have ever been written, they've been written by a human being. And there is a little bit of whatever the character is, there's a little bit of that in everyone. And you, when, you, when, you, when you're honest about that and you know that there is like a little bit of darkness in you, there's a little bit of all of these, you know, traits that we don't identify ourselves by, those little things actually exist in you. And when, you, when you're a composer and you, 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 you're talking about characters, you, you have to be able to understand that you... you you have to tap into that thing that defines that character. That way, the relatability, the understanding of the character becomes a lot easier. Rather than trying to say, I'm not like him, I'm not like him, I'm not like them, um, find things about you that are. That way, you really get into the mind of the character. You really start to move and, and think in a way like the character does. And... Again, all of this is supposed to feed into the music. It's supposed to feed into those compositions. It's places that you go to to go get that content from. So you have to, you have to find ways to relate with that character, even if that character is completely, completely what you would believe completely opposite to who you are. You have to step outside of yourself and you need to step into their shoes and you need to become them. And once you become them, the themes make sense. Now, when you, it's, it's, it's not always about, okay, this is the antagonist. He needs, this person needs to sound bad and they need to sound scary. That's not always what you're trying to do. There are instances where, you know, I think personally good writers are people who create relatable villains because that conflict at the end of the day is very important and the conflict comes from ah oh man if i was this guy i might have done the same thing too and then having to decide which side you fall on you know um uh, one of the greatest uh, villains that were written for marvel um is um the the antagonist of black panther killmonger I related with Killmonger. I was with him the whole time. And to me, uh, Black Panther's the villain because he's just in the way of what I truly believe in. It was easy to relate with Killmonger because there was an honesty about him and what he wanted to do was to do what was right for black people, I guess. And so that conflict is what made the film very interesting because you, you're on the fence, you're on both sides. So. When, when, when writers write relatable characters, it's, it, it, it helps so much to create that music for those characters. But your, your part in the mix is to find those things that you relate with those characters. Understand that psychology. It really brings you into the, to, to the, to the way they think. And, you know, psychology is such an important part of this. Knowing how people think, knowing how people may react is, is a very, very important part of how you create music for film. You know, that's one of the things that like kind of like separate composing music for film versus just composing music for, for, for enjoyment and, and for pleasure. 
is that there's so many things that feed into every single note that you do and psychology being one of them you know i'm trying to compose um for the fact that i can relate with why killmonger wants to do abc i can relate with why uh katarina gromova wants to do whatever she's doing and i understand that and i have to try to understand that as much as possible and i have to be with that and then once i'm honest with that the music becomes more compelling the music adds to the duality of the film and adds to creating those two uh, polarities between the antagonist and the uh, protagonist. And you, you're with the protagonist. It's easy to be with the protagonist because they're the hero. That's the side you most of the time fall on. But like, my job is to pull you into the other side and make you understand that things are not that simple. You don't just fall on one side and then you just, you know, uh, Bob's your uncle. I'm going to throw you off a little bit and make you like the the, the 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 bad guy a little bit and just just to 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 make it a little bit more interesting that's when you have what is it the the the, the unstoppable wind and the uh, uh, immovable wall and now eventually one has to cancel the other out but things become more interesting when when things make sense on both sides but they're opposing sides so understanding psychology, understanding your characters. Um, again, because I work with cool directors now and then, on, on Queen Sono, um, the, the, the character Ekaterina Gromova, she basically is the daughter of an, one of the Russian oligarchs. And I, I like talking about this because, you know, you sometimes never get an opportunity to go this far in character development in music. Um, Ekaterina is obviously the daughter of a Russian oligarch. I just had to look at the person herself and understand the things that motivate her, the things that she likes, the things she doesn't like, the kind of person that she is. So her background, her culture is a very big part of who she is. And so I had to take a lot of these things into account. So what I did, um, in actual fact, when creating the theme for Katarina, um, is that of, in, in Zulu, in African culture, we've got I Tagazel. So what I decided to do was write is Tagazelo for her family. And I wrote it basically what her family stands for, what they're about, and I wrote this Tagazelo. Then I asked a friend of mine to translate it into Russian, and uh, then I got to send that over to another friend in Russia and they helped me musicalize it a bit. Um, and then um, that became the vocals of um, Ekaterina Gromova. And um, the lady singing it also was very cool because she was understanding of what we were trying to do. And so she sang it in, in such a beautiful way that we were able to create the two um, aspect of one of the the two aspects of Ekaterina Gromova. Now, the, the two aspects are there's the powerful version that is who she is becoming or who she is now, and then there's the little girl. Now we know we don't get to see the little girl, but in one of the scenes we get to feel the little girl when she's about to kill her dad. Spoiler alert. When she's about to kill her dad, she goes back and she talks about when she was a child and how the dad treated her. And the music does the same when the music starts and the lady's singing she's singing in a very innocent way and when we start to get into that point where we're talking about her childhood the music also comes all the way down and it 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 it, it, it it's almost very childlike in the way that those harps are played when you know we, we're getting into what she's like as a child and then as she's making the move and taking the step in becoming the, the, the powerful version of, of who she is, that's when you hear that the singing voice has become a lot more mature, a lot more strong. And all of these little aspects really add on to that music. And all these things that you know about the character, all these things that you relate with about the character. I mean, I know I have a very um, weird relationship with power. And so I just tapped into the real relationship I have with power and I just m moved around in that world. And a lot of the things that she 
goes through when she's dealing with the power she has or trying to acquire power. Um, I could relate with that. I could understand that. I could understand why she was doing what she was doing to some extent. And all of that stuff feeds into the music. All of that, all of those details are in the notes of the music. And you, you, the, there's always a wealth of, of, of motivation or inspiration in, in knowing the characters and in knowing the story and knowing that world well enough for you to be able to just pull from that. Sometimes it's not even that hard to do that, but sometimes it can be, depending on your relatability with that world. And so this is where you have to pull from yourself Look at the relationships you have with people. Get to know people, you know. Sometimes when you meet people, spend more time listening than talking because we all like to hear the sound of our own voices. Spend more time listening and you'll learn so many things about so many different characters in the world, so many different things that are happening in the world. And finding your way in all of this stuff and, and, and opening up your imagination to what that may sound like and what that feels like, all of these things are places that you draw inspiration from. All of these things are places that you, 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 you find the, 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 that inspiration and the sound of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So always get to know your characters. Speak to the director about the characters. Ask him a random question sometimes. And like, it's not really random. Sometimes I'll be like, on a Sunday afternoon, what would this person be eating? What would this person be doing? What would they be eating? Get like a really, really as deep understanding of the character as possible. Then the music, the music basically just writes itself. You know, it just basically just, it starts flowing. Know your characters. They are very, very important in, in being able to define them and each one has to be distinct sonically.